¿Qué pasa, mi so familia? Um, I literally just got back from a little run. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful Saturday, y'all. Weather coming out, weather nice. And I did some hills too. I love me hills, okay, y'all? But they be, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just making me a little fruit bowl. I got me melon, blueberries, blackberries, and I'm gonna cut up a kiwi. But this video today is for us women, okay? Us ladies. Because y'all, today I literally started my cycle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, And I knew it was coming, you know what I'm saying? You know, we get the signs, whatever. It was bound to come but that's what brought me to make this video because um i really want to express to us women y'all we really got to understand our bodies and be you know understanding and um be lenient with ourselves you know what i'm saying because us women we are more in touch with our emotions we are more emotional than men that's just a fact. We are more in touch with our intuition and we need to be more in touch within our bodies. I mean, we could carry a whole little thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we have to understand our bodies and be in touch and take care. Of course, with the help of a man, we create, you know what I'm saying? But we carry, we nurture, and we have to be able to do that to ourselves first. And a lot of us, we a lot of us women are having babies and we're not knowing how to nurture ourselves first and i understand people you know when it comes to like pregnant women and them having babies it's very controversial okay <laughs> because some women didn't have a choice and some women you know due to you know i don't want to get all into that you know what i'm saying but i don't want to trigger nobody but due to trauma, 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 due to very um, trauma filled things, you know, women may have to carry a baby or religious practices where they don't want to get an abortion. But then there's the other side of women just popping out shit. You know what I'm saying? Just popping pussy. <laughs> Let me stop, y'all. Let me stop. My boosie badass coming out. <laughs> Nah, but there, there's that other side where women really just don't care and don't know how to nurture themselves, okay? And it all stems down due to trauma that they're not willing to heal, okay? And we all know some women like that. But, yeah. I really wanted to come up on here to express we have to be lenient and understand with our bodies <laughs> because when it comes to our cycles and just mostly i'm talking about our cycles because that's when we get even more emotional and a lot of women i can't speak for every single woman in the world you know what i'm saying we all have different like pain tolerances and different things that goes on with our bodies during our cycle um but that's why it's very vital for us women to understand our bodies first and if you do have kids start understanding your body if not already mm. And I got me agua fresca, pepino. But when it comes to, especially when it comes to us getting on our cycle and about to start our cycle, we get, you know, our hormones start to imbalance, you know. We all get different symptoms and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Some is worse than others. But there are natural ways to heal these things and to lower the pain and 
really get in touch with your emotions and understanding how your body works. Because a lot of us women, we are not taking care of our bodies. And then we wonder why our bodies aren't functioning correctly and we're feeling 10 times the pain and then we run to these medications. I've talked to women where they're out here popping six to 10 pills of Advil or whatever, like it's candy, you know? And just to take the pain away for what, a couple of hours? And how many days does our cycles last? It varies from women to women, but you pop in like up to 20 pills a day or less, whatever. And then how much is that in a week? That is crazy, y'all. That makes no sense. And whether it helps you or not, taking these medications is not good for your body for the long term. It's not good for you. It's not good for your mental. It's not good for your physical. It's not healing anything. It is a Band-Aid fix. And that's why you have to get in touch and start implementing beneficial habits because all of this correlates and intertwines with implementing beneficial habits and consuming natural good food so juicy y'all <laughs> Because a lot of us women is not eating fresh produce. And we wonder why our bodies, when we start, especially when we get on these cycles, or even if you are pregnant and you hurting extra hard and all that stuff. How are you taking care of your body? How are you trying to balance these hormones out? Are you understanding what your body needs? But back to the leniency, we do have to be lenient with our bodies because we are bound to crave stuff. Cravings are okay, y'all, okay? We are going to crave some ice cream. We is going to crave some chocolate. We is going to crave something, you know what I mean? That is completely normal. But are you out here making it healthy for you? I noticed back in high school that I would crave, like before my cycle started, I would crave takis and I would give in to these cravings. And us women, we give in because we kind of, it's so normalized. We normalize like our cravings be like, oh, like I'm starting this to victimize ourselves. Like I'm starting my period. So let me eat unhealthy let me dibble dabble in this let me have this unhealthy food let me get some raisin canes let me get some this that all the time you know what i'm saying caving into these unhealthy cravings instead of thinking logically and not emo and not just emotionally but thinking logically what is going to benefit my body and make it feel actually feel better you know what i'm saying but yeah i noticed i would crave thakis and i would give in and it wouldn't make me feel any better. I just, it was just a craving, you know what I mean? And I would give in. Until this day, I still be craving like some Takis, like that flavor. But now what I do is we get these from Mexico, the churros. <laughs> you can get them um, from your local Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? At the markets or whatever. But... Um, we always just be having those in stock at the crib. <laughs> but now, what I do, and this is a known snack. Like, I've been eating this, but I just thought, like, instead of, like, craving into Takis, too, instead, I'm going to get some churros, limon, mi tapatio, or valentina, whatever I have, and boom, that's my Takis. No, this isn't the healthiest, you know what I mean, churros, but... Is damn sure healthier than craving into Takis. You know what I'm saying? Way healthier. And I feel a lot better and lighter too. You know what I'm saying? 
So that's what I do now. That's a real life example. There's so many different things you could do. Let's say I be craving chocolate too. And go towards like a dark chocolate if you don't mind dark chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Or get you, train your taste buds to like dark chocolate. There's different kinds of dark chocolates out there. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to like every single one. But let's say you really hate dark chocolate. Okay, milk chocolate is fine. But get the correct healthy version for your body don't lean into hershey's no they don't care about you and your body okay man like no and if you're craving ice cream go to the healthier option or homemade okay y'all if you can But I'm not saying, you know, like, you're craving some fast food or whatever. Okay, for the one time, that's okay. I love me some Raisin Cane, Jeremy, man. Okay. <laughs> but I usually don't be craving that. And plus, Raisin Cane's ain't even near where I'm at. So, I'll be damned if I'm driving just to get a little something. You know, I'll make that shit at home. Okay, you heard me. But... But anyways, like, it's okay to endow in those cravings. But at least first try to make it healthy. You know? And don't cave into those unhealthy cravings all the time, every week, every day. Once in a while, have a balance. Okay, y'all? 80, 20%. No lower. That's the minimum, 80, 20. Or keep it... 90 10 whatever it's gonna fluctuate but minimum 80 20 no excuses y'all it's fruit that's so good that's why it's so important to understand your body eat you some fruit it's so good. It has so much sugar. It's going to keep you full. Healthy sugar. Okay? Don't go, you know, in, in the cabinets or whatever and look for your little snacks. No. Shouldn't be buying them anyway. All the time. Okay, y'all? You shouldn't be caving in all the time. Get you some fruta. Cut it up, whatever. Boom. Boom. It's going to keep you nice, okay, y'all? Got to feed the body right, especially when it comes to balancing these hormones, balancing these cravings, all of that. Everybody's body is different also. But the reason why you're having these aches and these pains and stuff, and again, all women is different. We all have a different pain tolerance and all of that. I'm not saying this is going to heal your cramps. I still get, you know, minor cramps. And I'm just like, oh, you know, you're going to feel a little bit more sluggish. You know, you're going to feel a little bit more tired or whatever. But there's ways to balance it, y'all. And you have to be disciplined and understand yourself. What works for you? What is healthy? And implementing a, a small workout, you know what I'm saying? I know when it comes to us being on our cycles, we are a little bit more tired. We can't do them harder workouts. You know, we're just not up for it. That is okay and that's good. You know what I'm saying? What I noticed also in school, because I, I started cross country in um my sophomore year but i always did soccer throughout high school but when i really started running a lot long distancing running i've noticed that actually slowed down my period and that's when i noticed like oh like i guess like doing long distance running and working out hardcore because i was doing soccer and cross country and stuff like that and we implemented weightlifting in there too. 
So, but my eating wasn't right though. So don't get it twisted. My eating was not right. But working out like that, doing long distance running, really slowed down my period. And I got it less. You know what I'm saying? And I noticed the pain was less and all that. So really implementing a workout, some running, some hills, some weight lifting, just small. You don't have to go when it comes, you know, off your period, go ahead. If you're on your period and you up for it and you want to, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, you know. But I've noticed implementing, the, you don't have to do it every day too. You could do it once a week. That's good enough, you know, but just implement these things. But yeah, I've noticed that helps being active, walking at least a couple times a week, adding some running once a week, do some weightlifting, but be active. And that's really going to um, help your cycle with lowering the pain and um, not making it as like frequent. Again, it's different for every woman, though. You just have to understand what works for you and what's good for you. This helps me. You know what I'm saying? It may help you. I know it can help a lot. Also, when it comes to like stress too, you know, and those negative emotions, we may feel them imbalances. Y'all, yoga and stretching, having that short meditation me i look at meditation different i'm not out here doing ums ums sitting in silence not thinking about shit because my adhd <laughs> you know i have to be in a certain emotion to just not want to think about anything you know what i'm saying but for me like yoga and stretching that is a form of meditation and that really relieves your stress. Doing breathing practices, y'all. Going for a walk, practicing your breathing, just letting go of everything, y'all. It that is a form of meditation. Writing your thoughts out. Lowering that stress level is going to help you in general, and especially when it comes to your cycle. These all intertwine and connect together. You implement these things slowly, but surely you're going to notice the difference within understanding your understanding your body and how it works and what works for you. And just you're just gonna feel a lot better within yourselves, even during these imbalances periods. You know what I'm saying? Imbalancing periods. <laughs> it's really going to help you ladies okay we have to understand our bodies and stop just seeking for these validations and um you know just giving it away and all of that you know we have to give it to ourselves and understand ourselves Truly, a lot of us women is creating unwanted soul ties with people and putting our body through even more pain and just not taking care of it, letting other people control it. You know what I'm saying? Use it, all of that. And we can't be doing that. It's different when you have a superior partner, okay? That's different, okay, y'all? But even then, partner or not, we have to take care of our bodies and understand it and not cave in to these unhealthy habits and cravings. 
We have to learn how to make it healthy and be disciplined and balance emotional and logical together when it comes to these cycles, y'all. And just throughout our life, truly. And that's what I really wanted to express. Cravings are okay, y'all. Us women, we love, we, especially when you become pregnant and stuff like that, you're gonna hear about a lot of different cravings and you're gonna want these different things, but it's very important to still take care of the body. Don't use your pregnancy as an excuse. Don't use your periods as an excuse. It's been normalized. And then we wonder why um, a lot of women hate their hate they bodies afterwards and they get into deep postpartum depression and all that. I've, I know a lot of women who got impregnant. Okay, y'all, I've talked to a lot of um, people who've had babies and because I'm just really intrigued and interested, you know what I'm saying, about just the process and just how they feel. So I asked a lot of questions from women I used to go to school with and women I've worked with that got kids or is having kids and all that stuff. I'm not scared to ask questions, you know, and women love to talk about babies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um... But yeah, like, I've talked to a lot of women and stuff like that and just hearing different point of views and we just have to make sure. And I just see a lot of women complain about their bodies after pregnancy and this and that and reminiscing on their past selves before they have kids. But then they go up on social media and be like, kids are a blessing, this and that. But inside they, don't, they dislike themselves, you know what I'm saying? And it's because they're not loving themselves. They're not setting themselves up to feel good. You know what I mean? They're nurturing everybody else but themselves in a beneficial way. And then that carries on to the kids, the family dynamic, all of that. Us women, we are the backbone. We are the heart. We are itodo, okay? of the relationships, of earth, of a lot of things, y'all, okay? And you have to understand that. Take care of yourselves. Be lenient, but take care. Don't be a, a na don't have a nasty mindset on being lenient, okay? A, care a too carefree, you know, leniency. You have to to understand what's healthy first and take care. We got Chick-fil-A at home, okay? Cause, okay, you won't have to do it every single time you have a craving during your cycle or not. It's okay to have it once in a minute, but we got it at home too, okay, y'all? And it's gonna be better. But, yeah, that's what I really wanted to come up on here. Take care of your bodies. Healthy way. Understand it. And implementing all these healthy habits. Again, everybody's different. Not everybody's going to want to do yoga. Not everybody's going to want to go for a run or weight lift. Roller skating. I love me some roller skating. You know what I mean? But creating something fun for you. Taking, if you got kids, taking your kids on a walk also. Teaching them how to ride a bike, getting outside, uplifting yourselves during these cycles and imbalances. You know what I'm saying? Taking that stress away. You know, just lowering it down. It's not going to fully go away during these cycles and stuff like that. It may. Sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. Depending what's going on in life. But... Keep it at a minimal, y'all. Stop adding more stress onto it by the things you are eating and giving in to these unhealthy cravings and just giving everything away to everybody else but yourself. Makes no sense. And I can't speak for women who don't get their periods either. I know just a few, not a lot, a few women who don't get their periods and I low-key should ask. You know, if they, like, get PMS or whoop de -woo, you know what I mean? But I need to ask. <laughs> Comment down below, y'all. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs>
that's just so funny to me, y'all. But anyway, um, yeah, it's all this is normal, but we have to stop normalizing being unhealthy and victimizing ourselves. That's not normal. And taking these nasty medications too, that's not normal, y'all. We got to cut that shit out. For real. That's not cute. Taking, what, 10 pills just to put a Band-Aid fix on it? No. That is ugly. No, that's not help. That is not cute. Don't think that shit cute. When people, no, no, ew, no. Come on, let's get it together, ladies, okay? Get healthy, eat you some fruit, eat some fresh produce. Let's get healthy. Let's build healthy, beneficial habits, you know. Breathe in and out. You know what I'm saying? Stretch the body, get flexible, move your bones. Relieve that stress. Take care of yourselves. Take a shower. Pamper yourselves. Okay, y'all? It's possible. God's going to pave the way no matter what. If you allow it. And you get out your mind and start actually trying to build these healthy habits for yourself. And really stop looking at, you know, all these celebrities and what they got going on with their bodies and these other women's. That you envy and wish to be this and that. No. No. You don't know what's going on with them and what they got going on within their own bodies. Okay, y'all? Uh, we got to stop doing that. You got to put all that energy into you. Loving you. It's okay to, you know, compliment and be like, okay, you go or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But to really like side eye and wish you had what they had. No. No. Cut that shit. No. What what is we over here? No. You need to start doing that to yourself because it's possible. We all unique and we all got people that's going to love us in our own bodies. I'm telling you. Stop seeking validation from a man and wishing a man was praising you and this and that. No. The man's going to come. You just got to take care of you first. The right one's going to come. You just got to really... Give that love to you. Fill your cup up first. What these other parts? You know what I'm saying? Really give it to you. And stop giving yourself to everybody. Access to it. No. G give yourself access to the fruit, y'all. To the agua. To the healthy habits. Stop giving, stop giving your access to McDonald's. Drive through. They don't fuck with you. Okay. So, yeah. Peace. Stay blessed.